Hardware and software tools that allow us to shape and mold transients have been a long-term favorite amongst sound engineers. But up until now, these processes have only been full range or single band. And what this means is that they work across the full frequency range. Now this is fine if you're working with a single kick drum or snare drum, but Alicia's envelope plugin has an interesting approach here. It has an innovative dual band topology. Now this allows it to work on two frequency zones at any one time within the same plugin. And this really opens up new sonic possibilities for you. Let's say you're working on a drum group, for example. You could increase the snap of your snare drum while decreasing the sustain of your kick drum all at the same time. On top of this, Envelope's got a really cool EQ function. And of course, you can get the full range or single band effects that you're probably more used to in traditional processes. I'm going to show all of these aspects of Envelope in the coming video on various audio. But before I do, I wanted to remind you that you can get this plugin and plenty of others on the Plugin Alliance website as fully functional 14-day trials. So I would suggest you go and try them on your own system, on your own audio. But before you do, check out the excellent Alicia Envelope in action. So first up, I'd like to demonstrate the dual band feature in the Alicia Envelope. We're here in Logic Pro 10, and we've got a drum session, a live drum session. It's been lightly processed, but I think it needs a little bit more work. So let's take a look at how we could increase the attack of the kick drum, but reduce the sustain or the room ring of the snare. So let's take a quick look at the Alicia interface to check what we've got to do. We've got it engaged, you disengage and engage the envelope here using this hit it button. We've got it in dual band mode, there are three modes, we'll leave it here. And then we've got four main controls to the right. We've got an attack and a sustain, and then for each of these we've got a frequency control. So the first thing we need to do is focus in on the kick drum's frequency. And I think we wanna be at around 100 hertz, and then I'm gonna increase the attack. You should hear the kick drum becoming more powerful as we do this. Great, so nice and simple. Now let's focus on the snare drum. And I think that this is gonna be around 2K. I find it useful to add processing first and then take it away. So we wanna use the additive to focus in on the frequency. And that seems to be boosting the snare a lot. So let's reduce some of the, the sustain here. Even one dB will control that room sound. If we go any further, we can completely remove it. So a very powerful tool and in dual band mode, we can focus on two areas at once. So now we're in a new project and I wanna take a look at the full range mode. We're looking at some guitar and this was previously recorded for a different Plugin Alliance session and it's a clean sort of funky guitar. Let me play the audio back. Okay, so the Alicia envelope is engaged but we currently have no um, processing in place. Let's take a look at the differences between full range and dual band first of all. When we switch through the mode, you'll see that the controls change. I mentioned this earlier, but you're actually seeing it taking place now. If we go to full range mode, you'll see that we actually end up with three controls as opposed to four that we get in dual band mode. The three controls are attack, sidechain, and sustain. Now, the attack and sustain you may be used to from other transient shaping tools and processes that you may have used in the past, um, but the sidechain is a little different. And what this allows us to do is from 20 hertz to eight kilohertz there, it allows us to uh, have a different influence on different frequencies. So if we sweep up the frequency, we're gonna have less influence on the frequencies below here. So 
anything 200 and below in this case is going to be fr uh, processed less. And this is great for avoiding um, processing low frequencies too much. So let's say you're processing a whole drum group, or in this case, a whole guitar. We might want to leave those lower frequencies untouched so we don't end up with, you know, huge amounts of gain where we don't want it. Um, so if we increase the attack here, everything above 200 is going to be the processed area. And that's really what we want. So I'm going to leave it at around 200 for now. And then, of course, we've got some sustain and we've also got an auto gain control. Now in most cases when we're adding a lot of attack or a lot of sustain we're going to boost the output of the processor a lot, we're going to boost uh, the gain of the signal a lot and the auto gain function will just pull this back and ensure that we don't get lots of clipping and a really unpredictable channel that we're working on. So let's leave that off for the minute and we'll put it in as we increase the amounts of processing. So I'm going to start by increasing the sustain of the guitar. And let's increase the attack as well. Now let's put the auto gain in. And you can hear that that controls the overall output of the plugin. It doesn't really matter how much processing I apply, with the auto gain in place, everything stays leveled. Without it, and we may get too much of a boost. Of course, we can reduce the attack if we want to make the whole thing softer. And let's reduce the sustain and increase the attack. Almost like a muted guitar sound there. So the full range mode can be just as useful as the dual band if you're working with a single sound and you're not too concerned about the frequencies that you're uh, attacking. Of course, you do have some control over the frequency with the sidechain, but it is a different beast to the dual band mode. Next up, we'll take a look at the shelving EQ mode on a synthesizer. To finish up, I'm going to show you the third mode, the shelf EQ mode in the Alicia envelope. And to get there, you would simply scroll through with the mode button. And when we get there, you can see the controls change again. We've got four controls. They're pretty self-explanatory. We've got gain high, frequency high, gain low, and frequency low. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this synthesizer recording we've got, and I'm going to boost the high end and reduce the lows to clean things up a little bit. And of course, we can go the other way and reduce high frequencies and boost lows. So a really powerful musical sound and EQ and a great bonus mode to have as part of the Alicia envelope. You can grab this and many other plugins right now as fully functional 14-day trials on the Plugin Alliance website. So get there, join up, and download the plugins to enjoy on your own system.